Hello, this is Sean Roberts. I am Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network, and this is Lincoln Shorts. I have with me Peter Rasavi, Wireless Technology Analyst for Rasavi Research. So uh, we're just talking about how there, there seems to be a convergence, or we, we think there's beginning to be at least the beginnings of a convergence of different types of technology and different types of um, uh, uh, software stacks and application space specifically around open source and the 5G software stack that's starting to emerge and some new startups that are pretty innovative that are using, dare I say, the, the, the crazy phrase of enterprise 5G. So what's this all about, Peter? Do you think this has legs? Absolutely. This is IT meets telecom. Uh, in the past, telecom networks were these uh, huge networks built by a small number of vendors that had um, proprietary boxes. And even though they followed industry standards, 3G, 4G, 5G, uh, by and large, the same vendor would provide all the building blocks. And that started to change with uh, virtualization efforts to basically implement a lot of these functions as software. Uh, but now it's taken a whole nother step forward with technologies such as containerization um, and other related developments. This, this may get us a little bit off the track, but um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the, the, um, the open source, uh, dare I say, IT project called ISTO um, or ISTO or depending on how you want to pronounce it, it's I-S-T-I-O. Um, it's basically a Kubernetes orchestration project that Google heavily subsidizes. Um, and it's um, one of its many uses, but I think the most important use or application would be to um, create an orchestration, a software control layer that would be able to manage over many different disparate platforms, be it your own platform, your laptop, uh, Amazon, uh, AWS, um, Google's um, network or uh, platforms, and, um, and possibly even Department of Defense, anything that supports Kubernetes, uh, be able to uh, create an orchestration control layer that allows you to spin up and spin down based on metrics, um, rules, if you will, that you can, as the, um, the, the operations manager of that system that you can uh, develop and or put, put into application. So I'm using uh, kind of, try not to use loaded words, but <laughs> that have meanings. But um, so even if you're not totally familiar with this, I kind of give an explanation for the audience. But um, if, if these things are truly become able to orchestrate Kubernetes over 5G and possibly with um, IoT um, uh, network of sensors behind some of these things. What does this mean in your, in your humble opinion for the future of these, um, uh, these uh, government slash uh, um, commercial relationships spectrum sharing that we had talked about previously um, that have been proposed with this RFI that uh, I believe still hasn't been finalized. Um, what could this mean um, long term? I know I loaded a lot of stuff in there, but um, yeah, you certainly did. Um, <laughs> so I think we should put the spectrum sharing aside okay. for the moment because that's somewhat independent. But you did manage. Uh, you did mention the management and orchestration um, aspects of these Kubernetes types of systems, containerized systems, and yes, that is absolutely essential. These uh, networks are huge. They have many different functions and many different interfaces. So bringing uh, new capabilities, uh, new uh, features online that involve a lot of different devices and, and programs within the network, uh, the management is essential. I'm not that familiar with the management system you mentioned okay. uh, that Google is supporting, but the uh, wireless industry uh, has put a lot of emphasis on something called um, um, ONAP, uh, which is the Open Network Automation Platform, right. um, which uh, 3GPP is also supporting. So there's a lot of uh, industry support for that, but it basically accomplishes the same thing, which is that you want to be able to 
manage these huge uh, virtualized uh, networks. You know, another, another related technology is something called ORAN, the Open Radio Access Network um, platform. And that consists of a set of interfaces where the radio part of the network can be um, easily virtualized and it defines interfaces between the different major components of the wireless access network. So all these developments, Kubernetes, ORAN, ONAP, uh, you know, system you mentioned, uh, are really transforming today's uh, wireless networks. They will look, uh, and by the time we realize all this, it's a, it's a long-term effort. They're gonna look very different five years from now than they do today. Thank you. Um, this has been Lincoln Shorts. Uh...